Welcome everybody to this exclusive Calvin X live event. Thank you for joining us in this Remembrance Day ceremony where we get to commemorate those who sacrificed their lives in efforts to give us the rights and freedoms which we have today. Remembrance Day to me is us getting to remember and reflect on our country's history and past. Obviously, no country has a perfect journey. That includes Canada. We were magically born into Canada, a nation that ranks among the highest in quality of life, the highest in the global peace index, and all of the above. But we tend to forget that this didn't all happen in a day. Years ago, decades ago, life in Canada was nowhere close to perfect. But men and women fought hard in protecting our country and fought hard to give us the life, freedom, and rights that we know of today. Remembrance Day is allowing us to remember that no country is perfect, that there are men and women who fought hard and are allowing us to, to live such fulfilled lives. So thank you those who are serving in the military. Thank you those who sacrificed your lives to protect and serve the country that we adore so heavily today. Thank you to those who have to go to work every day, not knowing if we'll see your families again. Remembrance Day is a special day that allows us to commemorate those and honor those who worked hard in serving their countries. Among one of the fallen soldiers who fought for the front lines of the nation is Corporal James Hayward Arnold. James lived life to the fullest, and nothing summed his philosophy up better than the words of Jedi Master Yoda of Star Wars. Do or do not. There is no try. And James did. He traveled to Europe, New Zealand, Australia, climbed Kilimanjaro, went on an African safari, swam with the sharks, completed a three-day sea summit to summit race, skydived and bungee jumped, and hiked the West Coast Trail. But more than anything, he believed that life had to be different for the people who lived in Afghanistan. James graduated from high school half a term early and earned a technology certificate. He worked in the field for three days, but finally gave in to his long life desire to be a soldier like his namesake grandfather, Jim Hayward, and his father, Raymond Arnold, who both served with the PPCL PPCLI. He joined at the age of 21 for the adventure. But he signed on for a second tour because of his experiences and the firm belief that everybody, especially those living in an impoverished country, deserved a better, fair life. And he was proud to be part of the Canadian forces who helped bring stability and peace to the war-ravished country. James had the ability to challenge people, to make them want to try harder and do better. He had the ability to combine his strengths with a good-natured manner that made him not only professional and quick-acting, but caring and supportive. He had the ability to make those around him feel special and to boost morale. To honor James, the Manitoba government named Northern Lake Arnold Lake in November of 2010, a fitting tribute to a man who loved the outdoors and lived life to the fullest. Now, um, there's a quote that I want to share with you. In the blink of an eye, everything can change. So forgive often and love with all of your heart. You may never know when you may not have that chance again. Now, it, I, I, I want to connect this with Remembrance Day because soldiers, they're obvi it's a, obviously a really dangerous job. You, you're putting your lives on the line for the sake of others. And so when you're being deployed in places like Afghanistan, you may never know when your last day may be. It may be today, tomorrow, in a week, in a year, maybe 10 years. Who knows, right? Unless you have a time machine, you may never know. So in a blink of an eye, you may never have a chance to say, I love you again, right? Because that's how it was like for the soldiers, for the families of the soldiers who have to endorse such feeling every single day, not knowing if your husband, not knowing if you'll ever see your wife again, not knowing if you'll ever see your kids again. So it's a constant feeling of, of stress. It's a constant feeling of sadness, anxiety, not knowing what's going to happen. And so I think it's, it's also true for current day, right? Even though, you know, you're not sacrificing your lives, right? Cancer, diseases, car accidents. These can happen in a blink of an eye. You know, you, you never know when they could happen. 
You never know when they could take somebody's life. And so always treat everybody with respect. Always say, I love you because you might never, you might never get that chance again to say that. And you might live your entire life in regret. And so I just wanted to share that quote with you. I don't know who it's by, but I think I know that there are a lot of different variants of that quote, but I just, it's just a really beautiful quote. I think everybody, everybody should follow this quote. Everybody, everybody, especially for Remembrance Day, we should all remember those who lost their husbands, like getting that knock on the door from a soldier who's telling you that your husband passed away. So 